a new secondary symptom of COVID-19 is emerging. Doctors say lots of people are developing ear infections after vigorously blowing their noses to relieve the symptoms of COVID. In fact, it's quite easy to push mucus towards the ear whenever you blow your nose. We spoke to ear, nose and throat specialist Chen Rongfeng to find out the best technique. Whether you've got COVID or any other respiratory illness, a runny nose is a common symptom. But how to manage the snot can be a dilemma. We asked people on the street for strategies. Some people may not take enough care when they blow their nose. A wrong approach can result in middle ear infection. A university student in Kaohsiung was recently reported to have suddenly lost his hearing in the right ear after a bout of COVID-19. He also felt dizzy. An endoscopy revealed that he had an inflamed eardrum and a buildup of fluids due to a middle ear infection caused by overexertion in blowing the nose. I've come across lots of cases recently, in fact, where patients who have COVID draw the mucus up into their head or blow their noses with too much force, causing the mucus to flow backwards and resulting in the symptoms of a middle ear infection. You should blow your nose one nostril at a time. Don't put pressure on both nostrils simultaneously. Chen says that if both your nostrils are blocked with snot, putting too much pressure on them will force the mucus up toward your eustachian tubes, passageways that connect the throat and ears. That can cause middle ear infections or, in severe cases, burst eardrums. When we blow our nose, sometimes I suggest not blowing too hard or leaving your mouth just slightly open. That way you won't so obviously make the pressure in your ears increase so sharply, which can damage the eardrums in your middle ears. If you start to have symptoms, don't delay in getting to see a doctor.